Uh, today we're going to show you how to make one of these cool little mini cannons from PVC. And it shoots dried beans, little pinto beans here. You just load up the end of the barrel here, like so. Pull it back, and fire. Alright, here's what you're going to need to make the cannon part of the shooter. First, you need three pieces of PVC. One of them is three quarters, and this is about six inches long. You need another six inch long of half inch PVC. And then you need about an inch long of half inch PV itself. You're also going to need about a six inch piece of C PVC. You're also going to need some screws. I got three here. One of your thick rubber bands, screwdriver, uh, some type of a small file, a wooden dowel. I believe this is 7 16 and of course a saw. Alright, the first step is to cut your PVC long ways like this. This is a three quarter inch. And you cut it like so just on one side. You need to repeat the process with the half inch PVC, but do not cut your C PVC. It needs to be straight and even all the way around. All right, now there is another way. You could try and just pound uh, the C PVC into here because this is half inch outside diameter and this is half inch inside diameter, but I guarantee you it will be a hard thing to do. All right, once you get them combined, it'll look something similar to this. Uh, you want to try and get it as flush as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to also make sure that the cut piece is going to be on the bottom so you don't see it. It'll be like so. Uh, after you do that, you need to take two of your screws and screw them in to the side. This is probably about three quarters of an inch to back from the edge here, but you want to try and get them as close as you can on opposite sides. And you need to leave a little bit sticking out and make sure that as you screw it in, it does not penetrate your inner CPVC piece, otherwise it will it could possibly slow down the shot. Once you got the barrel done, you're gonna work on the actual dowel here. Now you probably need to use a drill and drill a hole uh, big enough to stick this wooden dowel into this little one inch PVC pipe. I use a drill and a knife uh, to uh, smooth it out, get it as tight as possible, kind of like so. But then you'll also need to take and put a uh, screw possibly in the end of it down here so that it uh, will hold it even better and try and keep it the uh, wood as far back against the back of the C, I mean sorry, the PVC so that it will uh, be able to screw, can get screwed into it and stay sturdy. Then also you can, you can take uh, a little file and possibly do a little edge on each side of your, uh, your PVC here so that it can hold the um, rubber band better. Now after you do all that, you need to stick your wooden dowel inside of your uh, stuff here, and then you need to cut it off about at the end of the barrel here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, you want it to be as close as it possible to uh, keep full force going out. But anyway, that is pretty much how the barrel looks, and it's time to add the rubber band. You just, I found it easy just to do the rubber band around the two screws first. And then gently pull it around the top here. And there you go. Alright, here's what you need for the base of your cannon. This is all half inch PVC pipe. Now, you're going to need two that are one and a half, two that are three inches, and one that is four inches. You're going to need two 90 degree elbows and one T. All right, with the T, you're going to have to uh, grind it off or sand this down or, or, or use a file or something. It's going to take a lot of work to grinding this flat. And the reason why is you want the barrel to sit at a slight angle, like so, so that when it's sitting on the base on the ground, it, the barrel is slightly upward. So that's why you want this nice groove in there, and you want to make sure that the base is going to sit in it pretty well, pretty tight. All right? Then you take your T here, and you take your one and a half inch pieces, and you stick them in the ends. Take your 90 degree elbows. Take your three inch pieces. You stick them in the bottom of the 90 degrees for the base. If I can do it. <laughs> And then you take a four inch piece and you stick it in the back of the T. And that creates your little stand here. And you can angle it however you want to get it to work right. 
and then you can add your barrel to it. Now you can use uh, possibly some hot glue, you can use some string, some, um, I don't know, super glue, something that will hold this in place and so that you can shoot this if you want to attach it to the base for good. Uh, you can also, if you just wanted to use it temporarily, you could take some string and you could wrap the string diagonal across it and that should hold it in place at least sturdy enough for you to play with for a while and then you can always take it back off and just shoot it itself. Alright, this is what it looks like in its final stage with the string holding it in place. So let's go out here and let's fire this thing. Alright, for ammo today we're going to use, uh, I believe it's some pinto beans or just dried beans that you can pick up at any store. You just take one and you put it in the end of the barrel here and you slowly pull back and the bean as you can see just goes down inside. We're going to shoot it here at this trash can to keep from causing any other damage. See what it does. Ooh, nice shot. Well there you go. Hope you can make one of these and have fun.